welcome to our 2021 Virtual Jazz Eggs and Friends Celebration, sponsored by 100 Black Women in Columbus. And our master of ceremonies for today is Kahari in the Hall with Street Talk Live. Thank you. Jazz is the way we celebrate our lives through the music we create. Join us in the celebration of some of the greatest jazz artists in the entire world. The Urban Jazz Coalition is here. The Great Thump Daddy is here. Leroy Savory is here. Adria Shaheed, Colin Jones, Selma Robinson, Michael Branch, Norman Whiteside, and oh yes, the Memphis Sound. Oh wow, what a time! Slow your roll, sweet mama. <laughs> we got to like make this last forever. We will have a prayer from our chaplain, Arlena Fitzgerald. Dear Heavenly Father, maker and creator of heaven and earth and the sea and all therein, we simply want to pause a moment just to say thank you. Thank you for opening up the doors of opportunity to the 100 black women of Columbus that once again, we can honor our jazz artists that are keeping the legacy of the American culture of jazz. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to be thankful for all of our community leaders that they're continuing to be a blessing to our communities. Dear Heavenly Father, all of these blessings we ask in your name. Amen. And now we will have remarks from the president of the Columbus City Council, Councilman Shannon Hart. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shannon Hart, and I have the honor of serving you as Columbus City Council President. I'm happy to recognize the great work of 100 Black Women of Columbus in this morning. For 24 years, you've sponsored this phenomenal event. Not only is this a great time to catch up with our friends, but this is also a premier music event in our city, providing a stage to musicians and uplifting the artistic abilities of our youth. But beyond the food and the music, this event is about recognizing leaders holding up our community members to honor them and recognize them. So I wanna congratulate all of the award winners this morning and thank you for all you do in making our city a better place. And whether it's this event or community scholarships or even clothing giveaways, 100 Black Women of Columbus continue to serve our city. You truly know that if something in Columbus is not for all, then it's not for us. So have a great morning, everyone, and I want to wish everyone, and especially the mothers, a happy Mother's Day. And now it's my high honor to introduce Linda Thomas, president of 100 Black Women Columbus. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Jazz, Eggs, and French Virtual 2021. We are the 100 Black Women Columbus. And I have some of the ladies here today, and we're going to send you on a beautiful musical ride. I have Toni Robinson over here, and she's going to tell you a little bit about the organization. We are an organization about women, African-American women who we mentor and groom. Toni, would you tell them some of the things we do? In the well, community. I'll tell you about a little bit about the 100 Black Women. We are a 501c nonprofit organization. We've been active for a number of years. Uh, we are not funded by anyone. So this Jazz Eggs and Friends is one of our biggest fundraisers for our projects. Some of the projects we're working on now is our Purse with a Purpose campaign. And our member, Barbara Gore right here, came up with the project. What this project does, after we saw that so many women were homeless in Columbus and across the nation, and they were virtually living on the streets. And Barbara said, well, why don't we get a purse, put a, what do you put, what do you put in a, a lotion, personal toiletries, hand sanitizers, masks. And we had different organizations that collaborated with us on that. And we filled these purses. Sometimes we walk along and just hand them out on the street. Sure Other did. times, we've gone to the homeless shelters for women. We've done the domestic violence for women. Uh, we've done the homeless teenagers. You know, they have a program now, rather than throwing the 18 years olds out of foster care, they've started a shelter for them. So we went over right before Christmas and we delivered just a whole bunch of handbags to them. And they were very grateful. So we're gonna ask people to donate to this program because we have thousands of requests 
that we have not been able to fill. We also work with the mentoring program where we mentor young girls, particularly in the areas of science, and encourage them to pursue their education, help with their studies. We're also working on a program to help each one of them get a personal computer. And the last program that we're currently working on is where we have given articles, books, to a lot of the students in schools. Now, I think I've talked enough. You know, I like to talk, so let's move on to our next person before I tell everybody's script. Okay? Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, okay. now, listen, everyone. I have a lady here that is our chaplain. She is just wonderful, and she does. she's head of our education program. Now, tell us a little bit about education, Arlena. Well, I'm excited when we talk about education, especially for our young black women. Even, we, needless to say, during this pandemic, it has been quite challenging. But we have not forgotten our adopted school, Columbus Arts Technology right. Academy. And at Christmas time, oh, I wish you would have, you would have seen all of the gifts that, that we were able to give to them, such as gloves, scarves, hats, but above all, books. Right. We know how important education is if you don't have the grasp of good reading abilities. And I am proud to say that I'm a part of the education committee. Well, I don't want her to forget this. We gave every child, I mean 800 children a book because all they had was academic books. We gave them creativity, those books we gave them. And before we go any further, I want you to meet this young lady, Barbara Gore. She's going to tell you how you can be part of this wonderful organization. Barbara, take it off. Well, thank you. <laughs> Hello. My name is Barbara Gore, as it's been mentioned three times. So I got that <laughs> the focus of our group, 100 Black Women Columbus, is health, education, and economic development. What I would like is for all women to join our group. We are a group of dedicated black women, professional, of all ages, and we love sisterhood, and we want you to be part of that also. We love you all, and we want you to help us be successful. Come on, join us. <laughs> Go to www.com. Columbus, 100 Black Women Columbus org, and without any further ado, Mike, take it off. Join us. Join us. Join us.
Williams will introduce the students who will win the Start Student Award. We can't say enough about this because we want all of our children to do We are introducing our star students. Sarah White is a fifth grade student at Slate Ridge and Jania Preston is currently attending Lincoln Heights High School. Christia Hunley Wiggins is an eighth grader and a student at Liberty Christian Academy. And I am happy to introduce our recipients for the Star Student Awards. Tania Grace Sawyer of the Ohio State Upward Bound Program. Joy Johnson is an eighth grader at Berwick Alternate School. And if you want to read more about their bios, refer to our online program. This is what she wrote. A Mother's Love by Helen Steena Rice. A mother's love is something that no one can explain. It is made of deep devotion and sacrifice and pain. It is endless and unselfish and enduring come what may. For nothing can destroy it or take that love away. It is patient, forgiving when all others are forsaken. And it never fails or falters even though the heart is breaking. It believes beyond believing when the world around condemns it. And it glows with all the beauty of the rarest, brightest gems. It is far beyond defining. It defies all explanation. And it still remains a secret like the mysteries of creation. A many splendor miracle man cannot understand. And other wondrous evidence of God's tender guiding hand. been acting different, yeah. Funny how I finally flipped the script on ya. Yeah. When you the one who's double dipping, yeah. You so sloppy how I caught you slipping, up. Uh. You're off the lease. Run me my keys. No more popping up the hitty, yeah. I ain't even got the miles to trip on ya. Yeah. No phone. Who is this? Brand new. Like the whip. Rack it up. No assist. Say, bitch, I ain't average. Wake up. Need a zip. Tennessee, take a sip, look at my jeans, I'm too thick I ain't got no home for extra baggage Don't forget to come and pick up your feelings Don't leave no pieces
Jesus. Jesus. You are my last, my first, and 
I don't know about you, but I love gospel music. Now it's time to introduce our gospel award winners, Selma Robinson and Colin Jones. Let's give them a round of applause. Hello, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior, our risen Savior. Uh, I'd like to take the time right now to thank the 100 black women, the eggs, Jazz and Eggs uh, Festival event for uh, honoring me for best female vocalist. I'm humbly grateful um, for this honor, for this opportunity. I thank you all, I thank God for your organization and what you represent for our community. Um, continue to trust God and I'll continue to uh, do the will of the Lord as we all have a part and a place in his plan. Uh, keep the faith, trust in the Lord. There's nothing too hard for God. Stay safe. No mountain. 
to commune with you, Lord. How you tell me?
my life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. myself to you my life is not my own to you I belong I give myself I give myself to you Lord my life is not my own to you I belong I give myself, I give myself to you. Next, we will have Dr. Ted McDaniel, who is the former director of the Department of Jazz at the School of Music at the Ohio State University and chair of the Department of Black Studies at the Ohio State University. And he is the co-founder of the National Coalition of Jazz Artists. Let's hear from Dr. Ted McDaniel. Okay, hello everybody. I'm Dr. Ted McDaniel. I'm here in Columbus, Ohio in the studio right now and I'm supposed to talk to you about Columbus, Ohio and Memphis, Tennessee, the jazz scenes in both of those places. And let me say I'm honored to uh, have this opportunity. I've lived in uh, the city of Columbus now for, for 40 years. Um, and I'm a native of Memphis, Tennessee. So I've spent a little more time in the city of Columbus than I have growing up in Memphis. Uh, I came to Columbus uh, for my job. I, I, I just retired from 35 years as a professor at Ohio State University, uh, where I was a specialist in African-American music and director of jazz studies. I had a joint professorship uh, in the School of Music at Ohio State and also the, the Department of Black Studies, which became the Department of African American and African Studies. Uh, I'm going to probably start off with Memphis because that's where I was born. I was actually born on Bill Street in Memphis. Uh, Bill Street is, is, is the heart of, of black culture in the city uh, Memphis, much like uh, we'd say perhaps uh, what we now call the King Lincoln District in Columbus, uh, Mount Vernon Avenue and Long Street and Bronzeville, that community. But the cities are very comparable in size. There's some fundamental differences culturally that I want to talk about. First of all, Memphis, of course, is in Tennessee in the south. It's on the Mississippi River. And, and, and that, if I said nothing else, I hope that'll make you think about uh, what's unique about being a river town, particularly when it comes to black culture, particularly when it came to slavery, particularly when it came to picking cotton in the Delta. Memphis is a Delta city. It's called a bluff city because it's high. Uh, you look down up on the river when you're in downtown Memphis. And... Uh, Memphis is a city known for, for its music. Um, you know, it's right, when you go to downtown Memphis and, and, and cross the Mississippi River, in a minute and a half, you're in the state of Arkansas. If you go south from downtown Memphis, five miles and cross the river at that point, you're in the state of Mississippi. If you go 60 miles east out of Memphis, uh, you and then go south, you're right in the state of Alabama. So it's called the Tri-City, you know, because uh, you can be not just across town, you literally can be in two different states out of Memphis in less than five minutes. So it's a very interesting thing. What 
is important about that in terms of black culture, however, is that Memphis has been a destination point for city life, for urban life, since after World War I. You had so many, particularly black people, to uh, uh, migrate, if you will, uh, and move up to Memphis for a whole variety of, of uh, reasons. Um, and so they come from Mississippi, they come from Arkansas, they come from Alabama, they come from really all over the South. But Memphis is a heck of a town, and it's known for the blues. That's one of the fundamental differences in Memphis and Columbus. Memphis is a blues, blues town. Uh, Debbie C. Handy, so-called father of the blues, came to Memphis in 1909, and he went down on Bill Street and uh, started... Uh, uh, playing music and making music down there. He, of course, uh, is the composer of the most famous uh, blues song probably in history, uh, certainly in early history, and that is the St. Louis Blues. But before he composed the St. Louis Blues, he composed the Memphis Blues. And the jazz musicians all know the Memphis Blues as well as blues musicians. So Memphis is, is kind of a... Uh, a nice gumbo, if you will, of black music cultural expression. Uh, you not only have the blues as the centerpiece, but you got rockabilly, you got rock, you got gospel. Oh, you know, the Church of God in Christ was founded in Memphis, and J.O. Patterson, the longtime bishop, uh, uh, made music a centerpiece. Lucy Campbell, a very important gospel composer right alongside uh, uh, Thomas A. Dorsey uh, was, was a tremendous uh, uh, composer of, of gospel music. So all of these things blend together in Memphis. I grew up in Memphis. Uh, you won't believe this. You'll think I'm lying. But when I was in high school, let me just share with you who I was in high school with. You know Booker T, who was with Booker T and the MGs, the leader, the organ player, had that big head, green onions. Boo was one year in front of me in high school. Maurice White, founder and leader of Earth, Wind, and Fire, was two years in front of me in high school. We all played in the band together. Uh, Isaac Hayes, uh, the sorry saxophone player. No, he, of course, was a great, great singer. Black Moses, you know, Shaft, and so many other other uh, great songs. He was three years in front of me. Carla Thomas, uh, the great singer G. Wiz, uh, uh, we went to the same high school. Uh, her brother Marvell Thomas was the piano player on so many R and B uh, bands. And the list just goes on and on. But Memphis was a jazz town too. Uh, a number of very important jazz musicians came out of came out of Memphis, and you need to know about Finus Newborn. Some call him Phineas Newborn, heck of a piano player. Some say rivaling uh, Art Tatum and Oscar Peterson. He's out of Memphis. Uh, George Coleman, the great tenor saxophonist who played with Miles Davis. Lewis Smith, who was a member of the uh, Art Blakey Jazz Messengers Band and also played with a lot of people. Frank Strozier, Booker Little, the piano players that come out of Memphis are legendary. Not just Finest Newborn, but you had James Williams, who was a member of Art Blakey's Jazz Messengers, along with Donald Brown, who's out of Memphis, and Mulgrew Miller, another fine piano player. But they all go back to people like Honeymoon Gardner. That's somebody you may not know, may not be as familiar with, uh, but, you know, he played both organ um, and piano coming up there in Memphis. So the list just goes on and on. Memphis is known. Memphis is known for great music makers. I hear music in the air. It's time for some music. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing an internationally famous, award-winning group, the Urban Jazz Coalition. Let's give it up for them.
get your rug off, y'all. 100 Black Women Columbus really appreciates the work of our individuals and businesses that have come together to work with us on so many important projects. And one of our members, Leah Gardner, uh, is going to introduce this year's Community Award winners. Welcome to Jazz Eggs and Friends. And I am queen, of course. And this year's Community Awardees are... Pastor Karen Mitchell, Total Man Ministry. Marvin Smith, American Family Insurance. Federally Employed Women. Skip Young, AKA Ahmad Ali and John Howard, founders of the Greater Columbus Basketball's Legends Association. Tiffany Bell, MD. And you can read all about these phenomenal individuals in our program brochure. Next, we will have a selection from Norman Whiteside, who is a three-time Grammy Award nominee and a writer and an artist. And he has a new album out called Mary and Estella. Let's hear from Norman. Welcome to 2021 Jazz and A's, sponsored by the 100 Black Women Like This. invite you to participate in our 2022 Sister Walk. The Sister Walk will be held May 21st, 2022, and it will be a health and wellness walk. It will be virtual and also in person, 
And our purpose for the sister walk is to walk in sisterly love. We have been through too much trauma, is what I call it, sisters in trauma, dealing with COVID-19 and being on the front end of protecting our children, our loved ones, and doing those social service jobs and front end jobs. So we have been really out there holding up the front for the country, as well as with other women, but black women in particular have faced many challenges through COVID-19 in terms of watching our black men get killed, watching our children get killed, and most recently watching a 16 year old female get killed and watching that on TV. It's painful, we need healing, we need mental restoration, and this is a day for us to celebrate each other. Each one, reach one, teach one, grab your sister, walk with your sister, talk to your sister, love your sister, and let's rise together. Sisters have to support each other to stay healthy, wealthy, and to take care of our family. So we are really hoping that you enjoy walking with us in person or virtual. And if you can't join us for the jazz entertainment after the walk, put on some smooth jazz. It's great for mindfulness. It can help just relieve all the stress and troubles of this world to just be in the moment, enjoy the music, relax, and just let your heart race, just slow down a little bit. When we watch too much TV, we just really get out of whack. Our heart rate starts racing, our pulse goes up, our blood pressure goes up, and we're full of stress. So this is a walk to be mindful, to be mindful of what we do, how we treat each other, how we treat ourselves, and to love ourselves. Hello everyone again. This is a special time of day. We're gonna honor our own the Candace women. These are the 100 black women that have made a difference in the community. In case you're wondering what Candace means, it's an African queen, a Nubian queen, and Yolanda is going to tell you about our two Nubian queens that we're going to honor today. Oh my gosh, Linda, do we have some queens in <laughs> our organization? Yes, I'm telling do. you, yes, when do. they came in as members, <laughs> they didn't come in just to sit in. They right. came in to get in, and right. when they got in, they didn't talk about it, yeah. they were about it. Yeah. And oh my gosh, when they come to the meeting, they beat us there. When right. we ask them to do something, they're always willing to do, do things that we all work on all the projects. They're all over the place, yes, but are. it is such a pleasure. And when we say queens, these are really African queens, and it is an honor to uh, to recognize them and 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 for them to be a part of our sisterhood. We have Miss Robin Williams, and who, by the way, is our new financial secretary. Robin, come up and get your uh, crown. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Yes, Robin. Robin. Okay, and we have Miss Teresa Holland. I mean, she's always on time, and she's ahead of the game. She takes care of her business. So we want to recognize Teresa Holland as a as a Nubian queen, and she sure is our queen with 100 black women Columbus. Congratulations, ladies, and you just keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> Next, you will hear from Glow Kenley, one of our members, who will announce the other community awardees. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to present to you our community awardees. First, I have Bishop Donald J. Washington and First Lady Shirlene Washington of Mount Hermon Missionary Baptist Church. Then we're gonna also present a community award to Connie Boykin, who is the founder of the Society of Creative Art and Talent. Next, the Columbus Area Chapter of Blacks in Governments will be receiving a community award. And lastly, we have Marcus Cates, Vice President of PNC Bank. You can read all about these people, their bios, and learn all the other information about them if you will just look at your program. Thank you very much. The Columbus community is proud of the next two individuals because they've done great work in the field of jazz. Columbus, please welcome Adria Shaheed and Leroy Savory. Adria is the female jazz artist of the year and Leroy is the male jazz artist of the year. Let's give them a big round of applause. Don't go. 
of the believer lay down on the floor my lord told me too fast and with my oil
And now it's time for the Rhythm of the City Award, presenting the great Donald Thump Daddy Payne. Get down. Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Somebody scream.
Oscar the drum. Give me my nice round of applause, y'all. Say whoop, 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 whoop. Say whoop, 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 whoop. Say whoop, 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 whoop. Hello, everybody. We want to spread love to each and every one of you tonight. To our fellow men, women, boys, and girls. When I think about it, we all living in this world under one race, and that's the human race. When I think about it, it's truly a wonderful world. Sing. One hundred Black Women Columbus encourages you to get your vaccination and stay safe because we want to see you here next year for our jazz, eggs, and friends. See you then. It's been our pleasure to be a part of this evening, and God bless all of you. Blue.